All right, guys, let's talk about some applications from the real world as opposed to saying word problems. Here's the general strategy. General strategy says that if I have anything asked me for initial, start, or beginning, then basically I'm being asked to find the y-intercept. And I do that by plugging in f at zero, so setting the variable equal to zero. However, if I'm asked about max, min, largest, smallest, biggest, then they ask me about the vertex. So how do I find the vertex? Two ways. First way is like zeros, axis is symmetry, plugging back in like we did in chapter two. We're now completing the square that we just found out how to do in, um, in chapter three. If it doesn't ask me for the maximum or the vertex, then it can only be asking me about zeros. And there's gonna be a way of making my equation equal to zero somehow in many different ways. And then I decide. Do I want to factor and solve if it's already in factored form? Or do I use quadratic formula to find the zeros? So let me do three videos. The first one's going to be on projectile questions. So let's see, if a student throws a calculator up in the air and the height with respect to time can be described by minus 5t squared plus 21t plus 2, t is in seconds, h is in meters from the ground. I draw a sketch and I'm assuming that this is going to, well, that is going to be the initial height. I'm assuming that he threw it up he may have thrown it down or just across. I don't know. I'm going to guess that it went up. So I'm going to start answering. So I've got zeros, y-intercept, and vertex. First question says, what is the initial height of the calculator? Initial height meant f at zero. Now, in this case, it's h at zero because I've, our function is called h. t0 makes this go away. t0 makes this go away. And all I'm left is a 2. I need to put an answer because of the question. So initial height, height is, I said ht for height, but forgive me, is two meters. So this is two meters. And I'm gonna start putting numbers on my diagram to help myself out. B, what is the maximum height? When did it happen? Basically, I'm looking for the vertex. Will I get the zero axis symmetry plug it in? No, it's in standard form. I'm just gonna go ahead and complete the square. So minus five, factor out the minus five. 21 divided by five. Well, that doesn't work nicely, but I'm just gonna use decimals. And that's gonna be 4.41 T. Half of this is two, I oh know this is 4.2. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is 4.2. Half of this is 2.1, 2.1 squared is 4.41. So I add 4.41 and I div and I subtract 4.41. And then we got the plus two at the end. We know that I can uh, get a perfect square from these three guys. And that will be t minus 2.1. And this comes out, gets multiplied by minus five, and I get 22.05. The minus and the minus gives me a plus, and then we add 2. So finally, we got t minus 2.1 squared plus 24.05. So what is the maximum height? Well, that's my optimal value, 24.05. And what is my the time when this happened? Well, that's the 2.1 over here. And that, so this is 2.1 and 24.05. That's a pretty good throw in the air, 24 meters. It's a poor calculator, I don't think it survived. And there's my answer. All right, part three. When did the calculator hit the ground? It didn't ask for max or min, it didn't ask for initial, so it must be asking for the zeros. And of course, it's asking for the zeros. I'm gonna find out two zeros. One of them will not make sense, and the other one will be exactly what I'm looking for. So how will we find the answer to the zeros? Do we wanna factor this? I don't think I want to factor it, so I'm just going to go ahead and use quadratic formula. And I did that in advance. Minus 21 plus or minus 21 squared minus 4 minus 5. Notice that a minus and a minus here would make this be plus, right? So I'm going to get 481. And my 2a is 2 times minus 5, which means minus 10. When we plug this into our calculator, we're going to get negative 0 0.093. Negative 0 0.093. And on the other one, I get 4.29, 4.29. So now let's answer the question. When did the calculator hit the ground? Well, it didn't hit the ground here. This part doesn't even exist. 
it went up, it got to 24.5, and then it hit the ground after 4.29. So answer is hit ground after 4.29 seconds.